Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, coming on live, which y'all know I don't do very often, uh, just to let you know a couple things. Okay, the first, of course, I need y'all, as always, Tuesday night, tonight, check out Bravo TV, only 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central, new episode of Roni, Real Housewives of New York. Um, excited. I'm on live and I'm just coming to you from a really vulnerable place, y'all, so bear with me. I want to let you know that tonight, after tonight's episode, I'm not going to be saying goodbye, but I'm going to be saying see you later by way of uh, social media for about two weeks. Tonight's episode and next week's episode are really intense and really important. I really want to stress that they're really important episodes, y'all. And I want you to lean into them and I want you to watch them. And I want some of y'all to watch them multiple times. I've seen, I think tonight will be the fourth time I'm seeing tonight's episode. Um, so yeah, do that. Lean into tonight and next week's episode in particular. And stay with us throughout the rest of the season. Because as I've said on Instagram post recently, this season is different. Yeah, for those of you saying it, it's different this season. You're right. We're in a pandemic. We're in the middle of the most dynamic call to action around racial uh, reconciliation, certainly in our generation. And we're in the heartbeat of it all in New York City. Um, so we're doing a heavy lift here. And I'm not doing it by myself. I'm doing it with my castmates and with the support of, of our network. Uh, and with the support of many of y'all, I mean, I got on here two seconds ago. There's almost 500 people here. So I do feel the love and I want y'all to know that I see you and I, I know that you see me. But the reason I'm taking this uh, social media break for the next two weeks is because I want to leave y'all to yourselves to have discussion and debate and conversation around what you're going to see tonight, you know, what you're going to see next week. And. I guess I'm going to pull a Naomi Osaka and, and pull back to protect my peace uh, because I know a lot of that conversation and discussion is going to be rich and in dynamic and important and productive. And a lot of it's going to be some bullshit. Um, and y'all know who you are. Some of y'all, uh, not anybody I'm talking to here, but some of the people that, that live on social media and live to make other people's life a terror and a horror. And they just like to show up as assholes and trolls. Um, I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. And I won't be a part of it. And I want to avail myself to it. So I'm going to take a little break, a little beat. Work on my prayer, work on my situation spiritually. And I will be back. And when I come back in a couple of weeks after next week's episode, I look forward to engaging with y'all. As I always have and always welcome debate and conversation and discussion and connection. Um, it's my life's work. Y'all know that. Um, and this is not, and I want to be really clear about tonight and next week. It's not about who's right or who's wrong. This ain't about team Ebony or team fill in the blank other housewife. That's bullshit. I want y'all to reject the knee jerk reaction you might have around that. Okay. This is about leaning in, listening, making space for the ability to sit with someone else's pain, even when you don't understand it. Um, so I love y'all. I'm not going to harp on it too much. In about exactly an hour from now, I want y'all to tune in, put your TVs on Bravo, watch the episode, sit with it, talk about it amongst your friends, your children, your family, your significant others, uh, your sisters. This is a show ultimately about fucking sisterhood, y'all. And I will say... Spoiler alert, what happens tonight and what happens on next week's episode is the foundational bedrock to an ability for me and this group of women to develop a true sisterhood. And if you believe in authenticity of relationship and shared humanity and sisterhood, this is what the fuck we're talking about. All right. I love y'all. Shout out to my good sis, Leah McSweeney. Shout out to her daughter, Kiki, who turned 14 years old today. Bitch, I cannot believe you have a 14-year-old young queen that you are raising beautifully. Uh, shout out to the LGBTQ community. Today is Pride Day, the first day of Pride Month. 
um, so in love with y'all and everything you fought for and stood for. And I just look forward to being the best ally and support and co-conspirator of your liberation that I can be. And shout out to the good, brilliant, beautiful, loving people of the Tulsa, Oklahoma community. Yeah, Greenwood, that's what I'm wearing on my shirt right now, Black Wall Street. I'm here, y'all. I've been here for almost a week. And this community 100 years ago was burned to the ground. And I'll tell you this one quick story. One of the people whose building was burned, this was the highest population of black wealth in America at the time, 1921, not long after emancipation at all. And they had managed to just build an incredible amount of wealth and self-sustainability, real estate, banking, hospitals, schools, you name it. Uh, and a, a, a one gentleman who was an attorney had his law practice burned down. And y'all know that that's that with Auntie E, Ebony K. Williams Esquire. And the day after his practice was fucking burned to the ground, this man set up a tent and started practicing law out of a tent in the face of terrorism. So there's nothing that I can't do. There's nothing that my people can't do. And there's nothing that each and every one of you can't do when we put our hearts and minds to it. I love y'all. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to see you in two weeks.